What's the most commonly broken rule in Walt Disney World and what can't you bring into the park? We've got those answers and more with 18 things you cannot do at Walt Disney World and why on DFB Guide today. Let's win Disney World! Hey everybody, it's AJ for Disney Food Blog. We've got an interesting one for you today. We decided to let you know 18 things you cannot do in Walt Disney World, and some of these are really going to surprise you. So some people do some things in Disney World, it doesn't make any sense to me, but maybe it makes sense to you. Let me know in the comments. Number one is spreading someone's ashes. So believe it or not, this is really a problem in Disney World and Disneyland. There have been several times in the past that people have been caught spreading a loved one's ashes at maybe their favorite ride or a location that they particularly enjoyed in the Disney parks. So Haunted Mansion is the top spot for trying to sneak someone's ashes into the parks, but it's probably happened on nearly every single ride. Now, not only is this not allowed, just remember that the rides get cleaned pretty regularly, so your loved one is likely going to end up in a vacuum anyway, so not a great idea to try this. If you do get caught, you will be escorted off property. Now, officially, Disney will say that they don't necessarily believe this to be a problem, but that from time to time, guests do ask permission to disperse ashes on park premises, and the answer is always no, according to the LA Times. Also note that without written permission, which Disney's not going to give you, it's a misdemeanor violation of the state health and safety code to scatter human ashes on private property. And officials do say, according to the LA Times, that ashes pose no health threat. So probably not a good idea to try, but people still do on a regular basis. Next thing you cannot do in Disney World, fly a drone. So get this, parts of Disney World, including the Magic Kingdom, parts of Epcot, and some of the resort areas are actually a no-fly zone. So no drones are allowed. Even if you're not in the actual no-fly zone, security will still ask you to stop. And the same goes for remote-controlled vehicles or toys. So don't pack your drone, don't bring your remote-controlled helicopter or anything like that. You're not gonna be able to fly it on Disney World properties so just leave it at home. Next thing you cannot do in Walt Disney World is buy gum. Believe it or not, Disney parks don't sell gum, and even Orlando International Airport doesn't sell gum. These aren't the only places that do this. There are several other locations in the United States that choose not to sell chewing gum or bubble gum, and this is to help cut down on the mess it creates. Now, don't worry. If you are a gum chewer, you can definitely bring your own gum in. They won't sort of confiscate it as contraband. So if you want to pack gum in your park bag or bring gum with you, you from your house or wherever you're coming from, you can go ahead and do that. They won't take it away from you, but you cannot buy gum on Disney property. Something else you can't do in Disney World, go on an attraction by yourself if you're under seven years old. So sorry, you guys, you can't ride any attraction by yourself if you're younger than seven. Kids under 14 are not allowed to be in the parks without supervision, and kids under seven can't ride any ride without someone over the age of 14 riding with them. So make sure you've got your brother, your sister, your babysitter, your mom and dad with you in order to ride rides in Walt Disney World. All right, another one that people don't necessarily know about, probably aren't going to try to do anything about, but it's happened a few times in the past year that's gotten some serious press, is carry political signs. That's something you really can't do in Walt Disney World. There's been a particular fellow who's carried some political signs in Disney parks recently who has been escorted off the property. And this particular rule started in the 60s to keep protests from happening in Disneyland. Also, you can't distribute any kind of pamphlets, political or not, or give speeches or demonstrate in the park. Still private property, not allowed to do that. Now there is a long list of things you cannot bring into the parks. One of the most recent ones is a selfie stick. For a while there, when selfie sticks first came out, you could bring them into the parks, but now you are not allowed to bring selfie sticks. I think Disney sees them as being not only potentially hazardous if you are riding a ride with a long selfie stick, especially something like Big Thunder Mountain or another thrill ride, but also they can get in the way of other guests as you're walking around with a selfie stick. Something else you can't bring into Disney World, a chair. You can't bring in a folding chair or your own chair to sit in for parades or things like that, which I think a lot of people probably wouldn't realize. Glass containers, hard-sided coolers, weapons, including things that look like weapons with the exception of lightsabers, alcohol, big, big wagons, 
And pets that aren't service animals are also not allowed through those turnstiles. They cannot get into the park. So if you are bringing your own food into the park, which is perfectly allowed, make sure you don't have any glass containers with juices or anything like that. Now, when it comes to weapons, again, only on-duty law enforcement officers whose agency has jurisdiction at the Walt Disney World Resort may carry any weapon. Concealed carry weapons cannot be brought into the parks or resorts. They must be left in a vehicle or checked with security at the entrance to the park park or the safe deposit box at the front desk of your resort. So no weapons, no toy weapons, no weapons that anyone could misinterpret can come into the park. All right, something else you can't do at Walt Disney World, sell things. You actually can't sell your own products, food, drinks, or anything else in the parks. Now, pin trading is super big, but you can't exchange any money. You can trade pins as much as you want, but you can't buy pins. So that is something that's prohibited at Walt Disney World. This next one is very controversial. You cannot wear a costume as an adult in Walt Disney World, except for certain circumstances. So costumes for kids under the age of 14 are totally okay, but as an adult you can't impersonate a character and that's mostly for safety reasons. Adults are allowed to wear costumes during certain special events like Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party, Star Wars Galactic Nights, but special event costume guidelines do apply. Costumes can't drag on the ground, they can't have any pointy bits, they can't contain weapons, we already touched on this one, capes can't go past the waist, and masks are never ever ever allowed for anyone older than 13. Again, this is a safety situation, there's a lot of kiddos in the park, and if you have adults that look like characters, those kids could be tempted to go along with those adults. Disney's just making sure that no adults are impersonating characters or looking like characters in order to keep your kids safe. And speaking of what you can wear into the parks, you can't dress inappropriately. And what that means is offensive t-shirts, extremely revealing clothing, and you also generally can't be offensive. So no cursing at cast members, fighting, or being overly intoxicated. You will be escorted off property if any of those things occur. Now, Animal Kingdom has its own rules of things you can't bring in, and that includes balloons. You won't see any balloons sold in the Animal Kingdom. Of course, you'll see them sold in Disney Springs, Magic Kingdom, but you will not see them sold in Animal Kingdom because it's dangerous for the animals. And also you won't find plastic straws at Animal Kingdom or pretty soon you won't find plastic straws anywhere in Disney World. But ever since Animal Kingdom opened, you haven't been able to get plastic straws or lids for your cups there. And you're also not allowed to feed the animals at Animal Kingdom. So there are specific rules that go for Animal Kingdom that don't necessarily affect the other parks, at least not yet. And these are all for the animals' safety. All right, so this is probably one of the most broken rules in Walt Disney World, and that is taking flash pictures on a dark ride. You guys, we've all heard the spiel that says no flash photography, no flash photography, and it still happens all the time. It's very annoying for other guests, and something that I think might start coming out is uh, that Disney might not allow you to maybe use your phone on a ride because that bright light is also annoying for other guests. Hasn't happened yet. We'll see if they change those rules. All right, something else that you are really not allowed to do in the parks, it's not posted anywhere, but they don't want you running in the parks. Everyone runs at rope drop, but it's highly discouraged because it's just unsafe. So if you are running into the park or through it, you might be stopped by security and asked to walk. Just a heads up on that, if you're running for that flight of passage fast pass, you may get caught and told to walk. So plan your time accordingly. Something else you don't want to do in Disney World if you don't want to um, get taken aside by security is take off your shirt or your shoes. This goes along with the dressing appropriately. No one needs to be topless in a Disney park. The exceptions are obviously pools and water parks. The women will still need to cover up on top. And even if your shoes get soaked during a pop-up thunderstorm, you should bring a backup or buy flip-flops separately for safety. So you're not really supposed to be walking through those parks barefoot, even though I've done it before. <laughs> um, when my flip-flops got super wet and I was just sliding all over the place. So just keep that in mind. Speaking of flip-flops, something else that you're really not supposed to do is wear those flip-flops on Soren. So if you are riding Soren in Disney California Adventure or in Walt Disney World's Epcot, those flip-flops might very well fall off into that big pit under the screen. So anything that could fall off should go in the bin under your seat. 
or a lot of people will just leave their flip-flops on the ground before they take off on Soren. When you're on roller coasters, be sure to take off those sunglasses and hats so they don't blow off. And you're also not supposed to film ride-throughs on coasters because you could drop your phone. So I've gotten in trouble several times when I have had my phone out ready to film a coaster and I've had to put my phone away. So be prepared for that. They may ask you to put your phone away if they see that you're taking it out to film. Something else you can't do in Walt Disney World, smoke outside of designated areas. So Disney parks are very strict about where you can and cannot smoke. This includes vaping as well. You'll find these marked on your park map and you definitely will want to stick to those smoking locations only. This is another one that's pretty commonly broken, but you're also not allowed to cut in lines. Attraction lines, princess lines, character lines. You're not supposed to cut in lines. Disney World would like you to only enter the line when your whole party has arrived and can enter together, but in practice, people are always budging through the line to meet up with their family. So the only way that you can legally skip the line is with a fast pass. And this one is kind of a weird one. I didn't even realize this until we started researching for this video. You can't roll through the parks, meaning no skateboards, no roller skates, no wheelie shoes, and no segways are allowed. So of course you can have wheelchairs and you can have ECVs or scooters, but no skateboards, roller skates, wheelie shoes, or segways. So put those wheelie shoes away. And finally, another thing you can't do in Disney parks is film a movie. Apparently we vloggers are allowed to film, or at least I've never been brought aside and told to stop, but you're not allowed to film sort of a larger movie or a larger film in the Disney parks without explicit permission. Several people have been thrown out of the park after being caught filming commercials or movies, and there are a few films that have been covertly shot in the parks, but again, that's been done under the radar and not clearly and obviously. So if you're filming your next big block, Blockbuster and you need to do it in the park, you need to talk to Disney first. So there are 18 things you are not allowed to do in Disney parks and resorts. Let us know what you think about these. We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. And as always, if you like this video, give us a like, subscribe to the channel. Let us know what you'd like to see us cover here on DFB Guide. We always like to hear your thoughts and we appreciate your comments. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. This is AJ for Disney Food Blog and we'll see you real soon.